In this video, I'm going to show you how to tile a shower, and this is part two of a five-part series. In part one, I showed you how to start the tile, and in part two, I'm going to show you how to install the tile actually onto the wall. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Josh. The channel is all about building your house, saving a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring the bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask me in turn for making this video. So we got a lot to do today, so let's get started. Now, if you remember from our previous video, we're going to start here on the second row up off the the bottom so the first row is actually going to be technically the second row from the shower pan and we put our center line going straight up the wall to the ceiling and this is the only layout I got on this wall and the reason why I did that is to make a simplified version that's easier to follow but because we got one center line instead of a few of them or a couple lines like the video I made a month ago about tiling a shower what we're going to have to do is find the center of our tile to start out with because the idea is we find the center mark and we're going to line that center mark up with that center line and the tile is going to start exactly center of the wall and then we're going to use this line as reference going up the wall so this tile is just an eighth inch shy of two foot so i got to measure over 11 and 15 16 to get the center of the tile so i'm going to do that first after I have the center of the tile marked, what I'm gonna do is place the tile on the wall where it's gonna set, and I'm actually just gonna mark across the top. And the reason why I always mark across the top is because I know I don't want my thin set going any higher than this line. Because if it goes any higher, it's too high. We don't need it up that high. So I'm just gonna place the tile there, and I'm gonna take a putty knife, and just take the thin set and apply it to the wall. When applying the thin set to the wall, you can use either a putty knife or the backside of the notch trowel. After I got the thin set on the wall, I'm just gonna take a quarter inch notch trowel and just go in the same direction and place the lines going vertical like so. When running the notch trial through the thin set, be sure to scrape against the wall so that way you remove the same amount of thin set each time you run it through. Now what I'm going to do is back butter the tile and do the same concept as we did to the wall. We're going to put the thin set on evenly. When back buttering these 24 inch tiles, they can be difficult to manage and feel heavy. So what you can do is lay it down on top of a five gallon bucket while you're back buttering it. Now that you got it all back buttered, we're just going to take our notch trial and then just take the thin set off so that we have a even amount spread across the back. And now we're going to line our pencil mark up that we made the center of the tile with the center line on the wall. So after you get it lined up where you need it, we're just going to shift it into place. So give it a good wiggle onto the wall. Now that the tile is setting where I want it, I'm going to take a rag real quick and just wipe off the tile. It's easier to get this thin set off now than it is later. Now that the center tile is on, we can get the measurements for the end tiles for this row. So if we take a measurement here, it looks like we got about 17 and a half light. So light means a 16th less than 17 and a half. So if you take a quarter off of that, because we've got to allow an eighth inch for expansion on this side and an eighth inch for the grout joint on this side, that gives us about 17 and a quarter light. So we're going to cut this one 17 quarter light and we're going to double check. It should be the same measurement and it looks like it is. So both of these are going to be cut 17 and a quarter inch of light. So let's go cut those on the wet saw. I'm going to show you how to cut a tile with a wet saw. It's pretty simple, but if you've never done it before, you might need to know. And always make sure you wear safety glasses and ear protection. So we know we need a 17 and a quarter inch piece that's on the light side. So all we got to do is put our tile tight against this fence and then we're just going to measure over to the desired length that we need and make a mark on this edge. And now all I got to do is take this tile and slide it up to the blade and cut it on whichever side of the mark you need to so the blade's compensated. So we're going to be on the left side of the mark in this case. So about right there, that looks good. And now all we got to do is put our ear protection in. 
and hold the tile tight and turn it on. When using the wet saw, be sure to run the tile through very slow. Give the saw blade time to cut through the tile instead of applying too much pressure. Now we just gotta cut another one the same length and we're good to go for the run. Because the wet saw gets the tile really wet, always make sure I dry it off because on this back side, any moisture on here might interfere with the thin set. So I don't wanna risk that. So now that's dried, we're going to put the thin set on the wall first, just like we did the main tile here, and then we're gonna do it to this one next. Typically when I put the thin set on the wall, I would have put it clear across the whole wall to do the whole row, but I had to take my time here because I was recording as I was going. Now before I back butter it, I'm gonna use a tile leveling system, and these are clips that you buy with the leveling system, and this one comes with a few, but if you need to buy any of this stuff, I put a link in the description below to this exact product that I use. So I'm gonna put these in here before I set the tile about inch or two from the edge, two inches is recommended. And also along this top, before this thin set starts setting up, it's also a good idea to go ahead and put some here as well. So that way it's ready to go. And in the center line, you gotta stay about two inches away from it because that's where the edge of a tile is gonna be as well. So something like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and back butter my tile and stick it on the wall. If you are fortunate enough to have a helper, a good job for them would be to back butter your tile for you as you continue to set them. Because this edge that we cut earlier will not be exposed, I will not run a diamond sponge on the edge and I'll show you how to do that later. But for now, all we gotta do is line up our factory edge to this factory edge and we're just gonna lay it right into place. And we're just gonna shift it where it belongs. I would recommend cleaning the thin set out between these joints while it's fresh, because once that thin set sets up, it's gonna be much harder to remove it later. And you'll need more than a pencil or a piece of wood or anything to remove that thin set. And push that tight against these spacers so it's spaced correctly. And temporarily, I'm gonna put wedges here in the corner. And I just use these white wedges I had a pack of these I bought years ago and I've been reusing them ever since. So as you can see, it was used before, but I'm just gonna take this wedge and just pull the tile tight into that spacer. And then just put a little wedge here for now until we get to this next row. So that way we make sure we're tight. With this leveling system, it comes with these wedges. You're gonna notice there's a side here that has grooves and then there's a smooth side. You'll want to put the side with the grooves facing up and then we're just going to put them in tight into those spacers and now you'll take the piece of the yellow end and it's going to straddle that wedge and you're just going to squeeze it tight so like that so what that's going to do is that's going to level out the edges of the tile with each other so that way they're going to be lined up almost perfect so i recommend using a leveling system of some kind and just like the other tile i'm going to go ahead and place my spacers where they're going to be used i'd like for you to leave a comment below to let me know if you have or have not built a tile shower before and if you have did you use the leveling system now it's time to address the side walls and for the side walls, we're going to do something a little bit different, but similar to that back wall. So we're going to get the center of our tile like before. And now we're just going to lay it up here and mark straight across so we know what height we need to go to in order to get our thin set from not being too high up on the wall. And now I'm going to remove the shims in the back corner here because this tile is set up enough and it's held in place really nicely. Now, just like before, we're gonna go ahead and get thin set up as high as that tile is gonna be. Here is a good example of applying thin set to the wall across where the whole row is going to be installed. Just gonna back butter our tile just like we did the rest of them. If you were wondering, this is porcelain tile and not ceramic. Now we're gonna place it right in line with that line that center mark here's a line here's a center mark get our measurement for the sides and then go cut them and fill in the edges but i just wanted to make sure you know that when you get this measurement you subtract a quarter inch because you're going to have two grout joints here one in the corner and one beside this tile now over here when you measure up to that line you're actually going to cut it tight with the line we made in the last video 
So in this case, you're just going to subtract an eighth inch from the measurement from this line to the tile. You just need to allow an eighth inch for that grout line. The end pieces to this row needs to have a nice finished edge because the back row, these edges back here are going to be hidden. So it's important to get a nice finished clean cut here. So the wet saw doesn't leave the perfect edge. It's a little bit rough. And you can see that after it's installed. So what I recommend doing is taking a diamond sponge and just rasping across the edge like this. And it's gonna wear that edge down to where it's nice and smooth, more or less like a nice factory cut. So just like this. So simple as that. As you can see, you got a little dust there after you do it. And that's because it took that sharp edge off. And now I always do that to all the exposed cuts. And now before I put thin set on the piece of tile when they're cut like this, I always just kind of dry fit them. I don't place it in the thin set, but I always just sit them about where they're gonna be. And that looks really good. Make sure we have the right joints. And now that I know that one looks good, I'm gonna double check this one and just put them into place. If you're wondering how long it's gonna take me to build this whole tiled shower by myself, for me doing the cement board, setting the shower pan and everything by myself, it's gonna take me about two weeks by the time this project is said and done. The first row is now complete around the shower. Now it's getting towards the end of the day, so something really important I wanted to point out to you, make sure you put your spacers in now because if you go back later, if you come back next day and this thin set is hardened, it's gonna be difficult to try to wiggle these down in there, if not impossible. So make sure you do those before you leave the job for the day. I'm back here the next day. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this next row up and then this same pattern is gonna continue up the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the same line that we did horizontally at the bottom. And just as a reminder, that's the height we need to put the thin set on the wall, that line we just drew. So now I'm gonna run thin set up to that mark. If you're wondering about thin set colors, typically if you use a darker grout, you wanna use gray thin set. And if you're gonna be doing a lighter grout, you wanna use a lighter thin set that's white. I'm now just gonna back butter my tile just like normal. If you want to line up your grout joints and not have them staggered like you see here, you can just do a vertical line that's going to reference the edge of the tile as you go straight up. We're going to use that line that we made up the center of the wall as a guide for the center of the grout joint. So we're just going to kind of eyeball it right to the side of that line. I'm now just going to take my spacers and place them into the sides of the tile. The spacers are right in line with the line that we made in the center of the wall. Now I'm just going to install the tile here beside it and continue the run just like we did below. If you're interested in building a tiled shower yourself and you've never done it before, my best advice to you would be just take your time, have patience, and do a lot of research before starting. Now that the tile setting where we need it and we are perfectly center of that line with the grout joint, I'm just going to take my wedges and install them just like we did on the sides, except now we're doing it on this horizontal joint. And if any mortar gets squeezed out after you tighten those up, again, just take a pencil or something to scrape out that thin set before it dries. Something else I'd like to point out, if you notice there's a piece of plywood in the shower pan, that's because it's just a layer of protection in case I drop a tile while I'm installing them. Something to keep in mind is I'm gonna put a shelf up here and it comes out about 10 inches roughly. So I'm gonna put this spacer clear back here so it avoids the shelf and you're gonna see that in the next video of how to install these shelves. Something else I have done in the past when time is of the essence when applying this thin set on the wall is I'll go ahead and measure out and pre-cut the end so I don't have to stop to cut the tile to finish the row. Best practice is after you run a row, always take a level and double check to make sure we're setting level still and we're still setting real good. But if it starts running off, you may have to shim up one side or the other to get it right but it usually takes several rows before it starts running off, but always double check each row for perfect levelness. When it comes to the sides, we gotta compensate for the grout joint when we get the measurement over to the center line. So what I do is I'll go ahead and take a spacer, lay it up against this wall over here, and then take my tape measure, butt it up tight to that spacer. So I got about 17 and three quarter, and then I'm just gonna take off about a 16th in order to allow for the grout joint in the center of the wall. And then after I do that, I'm gonna put this tile on the wall 
and then I'm gonna measure this next tile separate because there could be a little variation even though theoretically they should be the exact same widths, but this is the real world and not everything's perfect. Now that the first row that's on top of these boards have been setting up for over 24 hours, I'm now gonna remove them. Something else to keep in mind, if you're planning on building multiple showers that are the same size, be sure to keep the boards that I just removed because you can reuse them on the next project. Anywhere that there was a screw that went through this wall, we're gonna take thin set on our putty knife and we're just gonna patch right over it like so and let that dry for at least five hours. I'm now gonna use the waterproofing that I used to waterproof the cement board and touch up over those spots we put the thin set on. And if you haven't seen how to do that, there's a video link in the top right hand corner of the screen. You can see how I installed this on the cement board. I'm now gonna apply just a couple coats over that cement board where I had to touch it up. I try to wait at least an hour between coats when applying the waterproofing. So whenever we do the bottom row, we do it a little different than the rest of these. I put a mark here to the center of this tile because you can't see your mark because clearly it's covered with thin set. I already got everything back buttered ready to go. So we're gonna set this into place. So what I gotta do now is just take shims and I got the little plastic shims that we use in the corners and I also got the broken off tabs that I had from the last job from these spacers. And I'll show you how to remove these spacers here in a bit. But I'm just gonna go ahead and slide those right into place. So that's gonna give us the correct grout joint. And now I'm just going to shim the tile up tight to those spacers. Be sure to wear knee pads when you're kneeling down like this. It can be extremely hard on your knees without them. Now if you have that shimmed up tight to those spacers, we're gonna double check to see to make sure we're flush. And since you don't have the leveling system to make sure you're on the same plane as this other tile, you're gonna to have to adjust it accordingly yourself. And you can also take some kind of straight edge, whether it's the putty knife or your trowel, and just lay it up against the wall. And that will also give you a good reference to go by. So then you just install the rest of the tiles around the bottom, just like we did that one. I'm now gonna show you how to remove these wedges from the leveling system. So we got two ways. Let me show you the first one. The first one, you can actually just back these wedges out. You pull a little pressure on the spacer and they'll come right out. Or we can take what's called a rubber mallet and just smack the spacers and then the wedges will come out with them. Just give them a good little smack and that plastic's pretty brittle and they break off down into the grout joint. So when you grout over the joint, it's gonna cover those spacers right up. So easy as this, nothing to it. As of right now, I installed all the tile that I could before I get to the shelving that I'm addressing next. If you need to know how to build these tiled shelves and install them along with the mosaic tile, check out this video, it'll help you out.